So there's a number of different ways to actually synthesize amines, and we've actually covered many of these already in our discussion of other functional groups. Now, most of the chemistry that we've talked about actually involves reduction reactions. So we're starting with some functionality and we're actually reducing down to get an amine. So let's just review a few of these. So one of the ways that we talked about to make amines is if we have an alkyl halide and we do a substitution with cyanide, this is a one carbon extension or one carbon homologation as it's called, and that gives us a nitrile. And then we talked about how if you reduce this with lithium aluminum hydride, that that can actually convert this down all the way to the primary amine, all right? So that's a very good way to do um, to get to access amines is, uh, in fact, if you get to a nitrile in some other way, um, uh, the, the reduction obviously still works. So reduction of nitriles is a great way to get to primary amines. Uh, we've also talked about um, how you can take um, uh, ketones or aldehydes and you can do a reductive amination reaction. So uh, I'll just show this generically since we've already talked about this, but if we treat this with uh, the carbonyl with an amine, um, which can be ammonia, it can be primary, it can be secondary, um, along with a little bit of acid, some acidic conditions, um, and then sodium cyanoborohydride, um, we can do that reductive amination via the aminium ion uh, to get to a, an amine. And of course, then this can be, um, this can be the, um, you know, the, the primary, primary amine, secondary amine, tertiary amine uh, are all, all possible with reductive amination. Now, we talked about um, accessing uh, aromatic um, amines or, or anilines as they're called as well. So we might as well just mention that, that if we have a nitro compound on an aromatic, um, that we can reduce that down uh, with palladium on carbon uh, in the presence of hydrogen. Um, and that will actually then reduce that um, all the way down to the aniline compound. Okay, so those are three things that uh, we've, we've been through um, and so we don't need to belabor the point here. There is one more um, reduction reaction that we should talk about though that is actually incredibly useful uh, in terms of accessing complex amines um, and that has to do with the reduction of amides. Okay, so here is the structure of an amide, and this could this could be any any range of substitution patterns on the amide, um, and of course we talked about how to form amides. Uh, primarily, you're going to come from a carboxylic acid and an amine by a DCC coupling, or from an acid chloride and an amine, which can uh, react directly. Okay, if we take an amine and we treat this with lithium aluminum hydride, in fact, what we do uh, is remove remove the carbonyl, okay? So we actually reduce that down and we just get the saturated amine. So hopefully you can see how incredibly useful that would be uh, to, to form an amide um, from, from two pieces and then re just reduce it down. It's a very powerful way to access, um, access these complex amines. This is, of course, assuming that uh, your, uh, the rest of your molecule is stable to lithium aluminum hydride. Okay, so the question is, why does this work? Why is it that we get to the amine and, and not the alcohol? So, so why not the, the alcohol, uh, which is, is sort of what happened if we um, reduced an ester with lithium, lithium aluminum hydride, we went down to an alcohol. Why does this go to the amine? Um, and the reason is, um, and it's, this is sort of akin to, to things we've talked about before um, with the reduction of, of nitriles. Um, which is that uh, in your first case, you're going to reduce um, the amide with one equivalent of hydride. Okay, so you're going to add one hydride equivalent there, and then you're going to have this type of intermediate. And now, uh, this, the collapse of this tetrahedral intermediate could happen in either of two ways. Um, either we could have this, um, you know, this uh, electron pair uh, kick down and spit off the, the nitrogen component, but the problem with that is you're going to be spitting off an N minus and, and uh, you know, a nitrogen anion is really, really unstable. It's a very basic compound. Um, so it's not very happy to act as a leaving group. Okay. So instead what can happen, and this is by virtue of the fact, again, that lithium oxygen bond is relatively covalent. Um, instead, what we can do is actually 
kick out the other way. So we can we can uh, spit out the the oxygen, which is then going to give us our our iminium ion there, right? And and then we're spitting off lithium O minus. Okay. Um, and now we can we can add the second hydride equivalent to reduce down that amine. Okay. So. There we've added our two our two equivalents of hydride to to that uh, amide to get the amine product. So y you might want to go back and review when we talked about reducing nitriles with lithium aluminum hydride. It's a you know relatively similar uh, sort of concept there, but um, it's it's by virtue of the fact that we want to lose o, uh, o minus more than we want to lose n minus. That's why we go down to the nitrogen compounds. Okay, so. A variety of ways to get to amines via reduction chemistry.